So getting into uh, AK parts kit building on a budget uh, can be done. Uh, you don't have to use all the fancy, really expensive tools and things like that. So this is kind of like a, um, a primer to show you some of the ways that I've gotten around using the very expensive tools before I could afford them and uh, things like that. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, the, the parts kit market's drying up. There's not a whole lot that's getting imported, things like that. It doesn't make economic sense. Uh, however, there are still a few good deals out there to be had uh, if you're willing to uh, just build a shooter, not necessarily a collector's rifle, things like that, or if you just want to do it for fun. Uh, so at the time of filming this, there's a few deals on the market. Uh, you can get some B-grade uh, MD63, MD65 underfolders for $399.99. Uh, there's some milled kits out there as well, uh, M70A1s, you go, M70A1 underfolders for $399.99. And uh, if you if you want to go one step above that, there's the brand new uh, Cole Arms KAM17 kits, and those are $449. And depending on which vendor you go to, some of them will even come with a barrel. Uh, but those need a little bit more work. I'll get into that later. And the next step up from there are the uh, the Romanian fixed stocks, and they're in much much nicer shape, and they're starting at uh, $489.95 with a $80 nitrided barrel. Uh, and and these are just online real retailers. This is not counting auction sites. This is not counting, you know, gun shows, face to face transactions, things like that. So that's that's what you can get uh, using like the shop feature on Google and things like that. So. There's your baseline for the price of some of your kits. Barrels are going to go anywhere between. I've seen them as cheap as uh, $60 when you buy a kit. I've seen them for ex as expensive as $125, depending on where you get it from. Uh, obviously, if you want, you know, nitrided versus uh, in the white chrome line versus, you know, cold hammer forge, all that different thing. So that's pretty much up to you. With that being said, uh, you still can, if you're willing to put in a little bit of work, and uh, it's some ingenuity, I'll, I'll put it that way. Uh, you can build a, uh, an AK for less than a fully assembled, you know, factory rifle. <clears throat> and personally, in, in my opinion, that's the fun of it. I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But after getting your kit and your barrel and all that sort of thing, you're going to need a receiver. And typically with most builds... Uh, whether it be, you know, subgun builds or uh, AR-15 builds, or, you know, the list goes on. The receiver is usually the most expensive part. And it is the, in, if you're in the United States, it is the federally controlled part. It is the, it is what is defined as a firearm. Uh, and in the AK-47, AKM platform, it is this. This, however, is not a controlled piece. This is what is called a blank or an 80%. So this is the same equivalent as getting a AR-15 lower that you still have to mill out and put the holes through and things like that. This is the same idea. But this one is very cheap. Um, these particular ones, these are Polish made. Um, I've seen them go anywhere between $50 if you buy a kit all the way up to $90 if you buy them standalone. The price does not include shipping. But this is the heart and soul of your AK build right here. And this this will ship directly to your door. There's you know there's no screwing around getting a, a twenty five dollar transfer fee on top of the price for your receiver, and uh, the hard work in all reality is already done for you. Uh, it's already got the magwell dimples in. It's already got the center support riveted in. It's already got the magwell, the trigger hole right there, and then the cutout for your for your grip screw already done. And it's already got the rails spot welded in. Top rails are bent and trimmed to size. So the only thing left for you to do on this is to drill out your front trunnion holes, drill out your rear trunnion holes, depending on which uh, rear trunnion you want to use, and then drill out your axis pin holes. Now you can see these are already reinforced too. So you've got your trigger and your hammer pin holes right there. So this is a great place to start if you're on a budget, don't want to you know, pay for the transfer fee, all that sort of thing. This is high quality. These are Polish made. This particular one, I should say, is Polish made. And uh, I've used these for several builds, and I actually really enjoy them. 
So that's that's the heart and soul of your build right there. Like I said, anywhere between fifty to ninety dollars, depending on. And again, online retail, not counting face to face, not counting gun shows, not counting trades, blah blah blah. Um, a lot of a lot of very good deals are to be had with people that are clearing out their collections or you know divorce sales and things like that you can get stuff like this for very very cheap I've got a friend that does that all the time and I'm very jealous of him so moving on from there um, you've got all the things that you need at least parts wise to start building uh, the next thing you need to start considering are your tools uh, and everything associated with your tooling so number one thing when you go to drill your receiver holes and things like that there's a couple of different ways that you can do this so either you're going to get the very expensive uh, trunnion drilling jig which you know you bolt it down to your drill press or your mill table or whatever and you uh, you line up on the actual existing trunnion holes and then you slide the receiver on torque it down and then you just drill through and then move on to the next hole well a lot of people you know that's that's a little out of reach if you're only planning on building one or two. It makes no sense to buy that tool. And uh, there are ways that you can make one, but what a lot of people end up doing is that they'll get either a 3D printed layover jig or they'll get a, a paper stencil that gets glued temporarily to the entire receiver and then you use that to drill your holes. Uh, one of the things that you're going to have to do with that is accurately mark where you need to drill and uh, anybody that's tried to drill through sheet metal metal in general knows that uh, drill bits and, and metal don't really like to get along unless you've got a good hole starter for it already so that brings you to your first tool so that brings us to this this is an automatic center punch now Starrett is not necessarily a budget brand uh, but as of late, now that I can, I am of the philosophy, buy once, cry once. So I've had this for going on five years now. So this is this has served me well. It's been resharpened multiple times. But an automatic center punch is the way to go when you're trying to mark out all the holes for your trunnions and your axis pins and things like that. And this is what it looks like. It's got dual springs in there and an anvil and then this sharpened, hardened steel point. And this is how you mark the exact center of the hole that you want to drill. And this, this little divot that it leaves gives something for a drill bit to bite into and not want to wander or walk or move around. So, for example, put it down. That's it. Now you've got a nice divot for your drill bit to bite into and start drilling. Harbor Freight has these on sale, uh, usually for... I want to say $5.99 or $4.99, very cheap, and you can resharpen those. You know, if you've got an angle grinder or a bench grinder or whatever, um, you know, sharpening stone, you can resharpen those. So that would be uh, a budget tool that I would highly recommend. So moving on from there, next you're going to have to consider the drills that you're using, right? Voila. This is your typical hardware store craftsman jobber length drill index it is not metric this is standard however you can get metric because all the holes that you're going to be drilling in AKs are going to be metric this is just an example for you you can pick these up Home Depot um, Lowe's Harbor Freight if you want to go that far uh, but actually you can find really good deals on metric drill indexes online you don't have to get a gigantic, you know, letter, number, fractional drill index. This is this is a good starting point. And even then, um, say you use it for, you know, building your uh, your AK, whatever. These are great to have around the house, have around the apartment, things like that. You always need to put a hole in something. It seems like <clears throat> so. That would be the next next suggestion I have. I mean, uh, a a fifteen twenty dollar set that'll get you through. You know, and a bonus too, if if you watch a few videos online, if you actually take the time to kind of try and figure it out, you can resharpen drill bits pretty easily using either a bench grinder or an angle grinder. So you definitely will get your money's worth. So that's that would be the next tool that I would I would highly consider. Moving on from there, you're gonna have to make sure 
that your holes are the correct size. And you're, act you're actually going to have to measure to make sure that you've got your holes using the correct drill bit, you know, make sure that everything's the right size. So next up is going to be calipers. So I've got a few different examples here, and these range from cheap to expensive. And this is this is just my personal preference right here. Cheap. We're gonna start off with the digitals right here, fresh off of Amazon, twelve bucks delivered. Uh, you're not gonna build rocket ships with them, but they're gonna work for building guns. So they use little tiny button cell batteries get that started on there for you yep right there and I've got a gauge block here this is a 250 thou gauge block quarter inch so just to show you it is pretty accurate pretty uh, pretty okay for doing home build stuff right like I said 12 bucks and this is the 6 inch version they also make a 12 inch version it's for for typical uh, gun work I would say 12 or uh, the 6 inch is going to be the best bet. So moving on from there, we have uh, the 6 inch Metatoyos. I know uh, people feel strange ways about dial calipers. I like them just because they never run out of batteries. Uh, these ended up costing me $30 from a pawn shop. And I even got them a little bit cheaper than that because if you can see, the ID anvils on the back side are all boogered up and screwed up. And this one actually right here is chipped off. It's, somebody dropped it. These are hardened tools, so if you drop them, they'll break like files. But pretty, rel pretty reliable, pretty rugged, other than the whole dropping factor for home shop use. And here we go. 250 thou gauge block. Not bad. 30 bucks. Pawn shop. Moving on from there, a pair of 8-inch Mitatoyos. This is my go-to in my shop right here. I've had these for a long time. Uh, I actually bought them off of somebody that was retiring from being a machinist, and I think these actually ended up running me $50. But again, uh, you can't beat them compared to what they are new and pretty accurate. These ones aren't perfect. I've, I've abused these quite a bit, and I just never bothered to recal them. So that would be a good place to start. So like I said, you've got, you've got the very cheap, got the cheap and you've got the somewhat expensive and uh, you know if, you, if you're struggling to try and find you know uh, a nice set that you can use you know it will keep using after you're done building and th things like that I would highly recommend going to pawn shops you'd be surprised what you can find at pawn shops including stuff like that uh, so moving on from there these aren't really necessary but these are just another good thing to have this is a set of micrometers and this is a set of zero to one inch. Um, this is purely optional. Uh, this is a force of habit for me. But again, pawn shop, 25 bucks. And these ones are not set up the way I like. I'm left-handed. So and I'm trying to do this backwards too. So as you can see, right there, not not too terrible and again 25 bucks so along with your measurement tools you're gonna need something very very important and very very specific I know a lot of people are gonna laugh at me for saying this because you know if you go and read the old forums and the old posts and things like that nobody ever bothered using these and they are head spacing gauges these are incredibly affordable now uh, this is a set of 762 by 39 go and no go and this set cost me 40 bucks and this is to properly set the headspace on your rifle I I will not I literally refuse to do a build without these because you are putting small explosions right next to your face and that that leaves a lot of room for things to go wrong if you don't do it properly. I know the the old forums would have, you know, people that would tape a couple of layers of scotch tape on the back of a, a live round and use that to headspace. No, that doesn't jive with me. That's again, I I've had uh, a couple of guns blow up on me, not fun. You know, there was one time I thought I went blind. 
no thank you. Um, so highly, highly, highly. I mean, I would, I would honestly say that this is required. This is not an optional part. This is required, and uh, they're affordable. There, you can get them in all different calibers, all different Wildcats. It, it, there's no reason not to have them at this point because of how affordable they are. Sometimes it's hard to find them in stock, but they are extremely affordable. And another good thing too, say you know you're out and you're thinking about purchasing a, a rifle or something like that, you can bring another gauge with you to see if the actual rifle is in headspace, especially if it's home build. Uh, just to just to double check, make sure that everything was done correctly. Uh, this is a field gauge. This is actually what I bring along with me if I'm considering looking at a rifle. And you would be surprised how many times that the bolt will fully close on one of these. And then you swap over to the no-go, and then it closes on that too. So that gives you an idea. Um, again, headspace gauges required. In my book, required. Uh, moving on from there, reamers. Now... Uh, I know you can go on the, the parts supplier websites and you, you always see that, oh, you know, while you're here, we've got, you know, barrel pin reamers and, and specific size drills and stuff like that. We got them really cheap. No, they don't. Uh, that's the same thing as the, the candy at the checkout at the grocery store. Candy at the checkout, it's always going to be marked up. It's, n it's never as cheap as, you know, going to an actual, an actual candy store, things like that. So when it comes to reamers... Same thing applies. Uh, there's a bunch of industrial supply websites online that are specifically geared towards metalworking. One of my favorites is MSCDirect.com. You do have to set up you do have to set up an account, but after that, I mean, it, you would be surprised how cheap most of this stuff is. And the bonus too is that if you order, depending on where you are in the country, if you order before 6 p.m. or 4 p.m., depending on which warehouse it's coming from. It comes to you the next day, and there's no upcharge for that shipping, which is awesome because I can't tell you how many times I've been in the middle of a project, something breaks, I don't have it. Well, guess what? It's going to be here tomorrow. So I would recommend if you're looking for the, the cheap way out of buying you know, reamers and, and things like that, uh, go to an actual metalworking geared website to get those things. Uh, I believe uh, this one was $1.38. And this one was three, and again, you know, look at look at the prices on the uh, the parts supplier websites, and m make that decision for yourself. Maybe things have changed. I don't know, but with the way the market is right now, it wouldn't surprise me if you know this was twelve dollars and this was you know fifteen dollars. But that's just my two cents. And there's a lot of a lot of different related things that you can also get on those um, those industrial geared websites that are much, much cheaper than you'll find anywhere else. You know, that includes uh, McMaster Car, MSC, uh, Interstate, things like that. So look around, see what you can find, you know, saving pennies turns into saving dollars, however the fuck they say it. 